So, Calendly conversion tracking, Calendly Google Analytics tracking. This video, the point of this video is to let you know that this is useless and 99% of the time it doesn't work, it doesn't do what you would like it to do and it's the best Calendly can do but it's not enough and you're gonna need something different. So why is that? Why is this use useless? Because it would be so lovely to you know just copy our uh, Google Analytics code here and be done. Have our analytics set up and we could just be happy with our tracking. That is not the case. Why is that? Well, let's take a look. So here I have a, a demo website. I made it with Squarespace and I've added uh, Google Analytics to Calendly and I've added Calendly to this website. So when we look at the source code for this, we can see that the Calendly is something called an iframe, an inline frame, if you will. Uh, and we can see that it's actually a window to another website. So we can actually copy, copy paste this and go to another tab and see this is our Calendly and this is kind of our basic other website. So the problem is that because there are two websites, they're not really sharing data or the visitor session or the analytics cookie or the Google ads click information. So if we take a look at Google Analytics cookie usage, we see that, okay, we got these two uh, underscore GA cookies for the Google Analytics 4. So if we go to our website and we go to application and we go to cookies and we search for the GA cookie, we can see that, okay, this is the GA cookie for our main website, Calendly Conversion Squarespace. So let's copy paste it here so we can remember it, remember it. And then we can see that there's another set of cookies for another website, Calendly.com, which is our Calendly iframe. So let's take a look at that one and we can see the underscore GA value is different. 651 for the Calendly and 210 for our main website. So uh, this means that it's kind of like tracking two different devices. Kind of like one would be your computer and the other would be your, I don't know, roommate's iPad or whatever. So the tracking just doesn't work. It's not reliable. So I think this was a nice explanation. Uh, cookies are specific to the domain code they are on. iframe is on a third party domain, calendly.com. This means you're going to have two sets of GA cookies, like I just showed you, one for each domain. And there's no real way to reconcile the data. You can't bring it together because it's like, again, your computer, your roommate's iPad. Another article, anything that happens within an iframe won't be known to the parent frame unless told by the iframe. We can send message, messages between these, the parent and the iframe, but Calendly or the Google Analytics isn't nowhere near smart enough to handle that automatically without a custom setup. So if the domain of the iframe is different, cookie values will differ by default, just like we kind of saw here, checking out the cookies here. So if we go to our uh, Google Analytics 4 debug view, we can kind of see the problem even more clearly. So for this, we can actually see two devices. So how Google Analytics seems to understand what is going on is like, well, there are, there are two different devices on two different websites. One is the calendly .com, our website, 
and let's see if we can grab the other one okay it's it's showing this kind of weird tiny view where it's difficult to see Let's click on something and scroll a little bit back and forth so hopefully we can we can see. Hmm. Yeah, this is really annoying that it, it can't fit. But what I'm trying to show here is that the other domain is a second domain. Uh, in in the sense of how how Google Analytics understands it. Yeah, I don't know what's with this view. Why can't I see the the events as they come in? Anyway, yeah. So hopefully this made you kind of understand the problem. The problem with this setup, so you're going to have a website and you're driving your traffic, your newsletters, your advertising, everything to the website. I don't think nearly anyone is, you know, using their Calendly as their website because, you know, you can't add any marketing stuff, any copywriting videos, images, pages, any of that stuff. So it's not enough. But as we're tracking the Google Analytics only within Calendly, then um, it's it, it's kind of useless. So in my blog post, I'm going to cover the subject in detail and explain uh, two ways to solve this problem. One is a redirect to a custom thank you page. So you can then track conversions in your website, which solves the problem. The other one is that we can send a message from Calendly to our, our website and then track the conversions there. Okay, but the important thing is always remember, don't really use this. If you need analytics tracking, you need to have a custom setup and you can't get the peace of mind of thinking, yeah, I got the Google Analytics installed, everything is good with just this one, because that's unfortunately not the case. If you want to hire me one on one to help you create the tracking conversion setup, then just hit me up. Thank you for watching.